Hello guys, and welcome to some more of Xenoblade Chronicles X. Um, I have had a few people asking me exactly how to get to the area in Oblivia where I found the squashes for the proficiency exam. Uh, since I cannot show you the map, unfortunately, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt I didn't mean attempt uh, to start at the <clears throat> very beginning of Oblivia, starting at uh, nav point 301, and I'm going to attempt to walk all the way across down to the southeast corner at South Coast. Uh, with South Coast is where we want to end up, um, so I'm going to actually walk, as I said, from nav point 301, which is at the entrance to Oblivia from Primordia, and we're going to end up at the southeast corner. South Coast is our destination, but I'm going to show you how to get to nav point 317, as that is one of the best markers to get to uh, in order to jump down to the south coast. So here we are now. This is nav point the 301. Yes, 301. And now we are going to do a lot of walking. Again, I cannot show you the map, so I'm not sure how much help this is going to be. But just know we are following the path at the moment. We are heading southeast. I'll try not to divert too much picking up crystals. <laughs> And this will be a rather long run. Um, there should be a little bit of diversion or detours, I should say, where we won't be able to go straight southeast. I believe we will have to head in other directions to end up there. Uh, I will let you know if I am making any major changes on where to go. And when at all possible, I will avoid the fights. If it seems to be going taking too long as well, I will switch over to using scale to move faster or to be able to fight faster. But just know that it it is not needed to have a scale. Obviously because it's for the scale proficiency, so you shouldn't need a scale because you won't actually have one yet. So we're still heading the southeast direction. Okay, now we are heading more following this path that's taking us a little bit northeast now. This area here, some of you might have been to already. This is um, where you were helping out the Manon when you first meet the Manon. Um, so it should look familiar. This is where the or one of the turrets were. following that path up to where the turrets were.
Yeah, I find jumping over things sometimes to be a bit easier to get to places. Um, so again, we're still heading uh, north now. But don't worry, you're not going back the same way you came. Nope, and we fell. That's fine. a bridge. I'm trying to find the bridge. Here it is. Okay. So we didn't need to go up that path. So you can head back down that path. Sorry about that. Alright, so we're gonna run across the land bridge and you see this is taking us East. And we need to get to that land bridge there. There it is. going across the bridge and we're going to start heading northeast again going across this hopefully this is helping a little bit with giving the directions and at least you can kind of see where we're going you can see name changes as we get to places And this is somewhere that we cannot jump. Alright. Alright, needle bridge. Slight bit northwest and then immediately back to northeast. Uh oh. Oh okay, we actually just Ignore that. We don't want to go here. We kind of took ourselves in a we took ourselves in the wrong direction. Okay, actually, let's jump. Jumping is your friend when it can be done. Okay, jumping is not our friend today. Okay, actually this is good. So we are now at nav point. I know, it seems like I don't know what I'm doing. I get lost very easy. I'm sorry guys. Um, we are now at nav point 306. And what we're going to want to do is continue heading northeast.
There's a lot of confusing spaces around here. Especially when there's places that you can't jump down to get to the actual area that you want. So there is a lot of going around. And if you can find a, a different path, that's great. This is just what works for me. And I wouldn't be surprised if there is actually an easier path. Okay, a rare plane. Sorry. Aeroy plane, some, whatever that is. Alright, you should see some water to the north of you. Northwest and north. Yep, there's the water. See that nice big piece of stuff over there? Alright, and now we're heading back south. Just keep an eye on the landmarks, that, that should help to see that you're going the right way. The landmarks and then the name changes of the areas, even the types of creatures that you see. The mephites here, I think they're called mephites. They're little cuties, that's what they are. And you will run into some higher level creatures here. I know somewhere around here there's a rampaging level 55. At least there was before. And here's some more field action points. Oh, I can do this one. Oh, white whale. Well, that worked out. I finished a segment thing here. Okay. So we're about to hit another tile that has another um, nav point on it. Are we at uh, Barbarich Desert? Which. So we are very, very close now. Very close to where we want to be. Actually, can we get there from down here? We might be able to get to the beach from down here. Let's see if this is the right one. Oh no, it's not. This is a different section of water. Alright, this is not where we want to be, but... But it's close, it's just a couple tiles away. Almost there. Hmm, 
Balance rock. Watch out for the flower monsters. Okay. Yep. There they are. Well, now I can't exactly see where we are. Because we're in battle. Oh, there we go. Okay. We passed it because of that battle. Just over, just over here. So you can see the half point. Okay. Right. So this here. This is nav point 317. Hopefully, you were able to tell how I got here. I know it's hard without being able to see the full on map. But now from here, we're just going to jump down. And you'll see the slipped over truck, um, which is a field action point and keep over next to the mountains here, next to the side and you will see the little entrance to the cave so here we are inside the cave and right over here you see the water and you want to follow the water in And this is where you're going to run into all the crystals. There's so, so many crystals. And it doesn't look like I got a single squash here. So I don't know if it's just for the... If the squash is just for the proficiency exam. Um, but this is where I got all the squashes. got all three of them. So, I hope that helps you guys. Oh yeah, there's a squash right there. I got one. Okay. So yes, the squash do still appear. So, I hope that helps you guys. Um, I hope you're able to find the, the area. Like, I know it's hard without the map, but um, hopefully you could tell by the name changes and uh, with me telling you what direction I was going at what time plus you can see on the little mini map at least so again guys good luck and have fun <laughs>